as the Islamic State emerged and took over big portions of Iraq and Syria, there only were two main groups of fighters who stood on the ground fighting the pure evil of the Islamic State from the beginning to the end. Looking at Iraq, and more specifically the northern part of the country, the Iraqi occupied Kurdistan, we have one of the most effective force against the Islamic State, called the Peshmergas. But who are the Peshmergas? What did they really achieve? And how powerful are they? Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification button in order to not miss any further videos on this channel. Consider to donate any amount to our PayPal account if you want us to keep on doing this for you guys. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Beginning with the Peshmergas, we need to go back to the time when the military force was formed. The year is 1946 and we are in Iranian-occupied Kurdistan, in the city of Mahabad. For a more detailed video about what was going on in Mahabad during 1945 to 1947, check out our video about Qazi Muhammad and the Republic of Mahabad. Link will be provided in the description box below. Shortly, Qazi Muhammad and a bunch of Kurdish nationalists formed an independent republic in Iranian-occupied Kurdistan called the Kurdistan Republic, also known as the Mahabad Republic. Protected by the Russians, Qazi Muhammad set up his republic and its administration. Several Kurdish clans from other parts of Kurdistan heard about the success and visited the republic. Among these clans were the Barzani clan with its leader Mullah Mustafa Barzani. Barzani and his Kurdish followers had just lost a battle against the Iraqi government and were on the run chased by the Iraqis. To the Republic, he brought 1,500 Kurdish units. Barzani, but the other man, I'm so far to have no Mahabadi. Military Mahabadi, Kurdi Irani, our Baushi, Kilo the Baushi. Barzani, Zor, Mandu, wa Hilak Diarbu, how was Abuma, Zor, Jagay Asafu Kama. Kurdman Bawshe wa Dadid ka awa parakanda bunu darba darbun. By Qazi Muhammad, Mullah Mustafa Barzani were appointed as one of four leading generals of the Mahabad army. Together, they met to decide what the army of Mahabad were supposed to be called. Lamala Qazi, Khazib Kobowa, Bowe Kalavi Chagdari, Kurdi Nai Tubnin. Taichi Mala Qazi, Ahmad Dasmal. So Peshmerga in Kurdish means those who face death. The Kurdish forces would be proving themselves worthy of that name. Within a year, the Republic of Mahabad would fall to Iranian forces. Some Peshmerga for the state to face death, while others left to keep on the Kurdish fight elsewhere. Before Qazi Muhammad was hanged by the Iranian regime, he gave Mullah Mustafa the mission to lead the Peshmerga forces. Mullah Mustafa crossed the border to the Soviet Union and it would take 11 years before he could return with his forces, this time to Iraqi-occupied Kurdistan. For the upcoming years, the Peshmerga forces would fight guerrilla warfare against both the Iranian and the Iraqi regime. And until 1975, the army of Peshmerga fought under one leadership, the Kurdistan Democratic Party. But in 1975, Jalal Talabani, Naushirwan Mustafa, and Fuad Masum left the party and created the PUK, Patriotic Union of Kurdistan. In the upcoming years, smaller groups within the Peshmerga strengthened the reputation of the Peshmerga. Not at least Mama Risha, who always was ready to die for the Kurdish cause. In one case, Mama Risha fought with his band of Karti Chwar against the Iraqi army despite having very low odds of winning. 
If you want to check out the full story of Mama Risha, we have an exclusive documentary about him. Link will be provided in the description box below. However, the creation of PUK led to a split within the Peshmerga. One side loyal to the KDP and one side loyal to the PUK. And in their common goal of control and power, the two sides went into a civil war against each other in 1994. Around 5 to 6 thousand people were killed in the Kurdish civil war, which would eventually end when KDP and PUK signed a US-backed peace agreement deciding several important details about the future of newly formed KRG, the Kurdistan Regional Government. In 2003, both PUK and KDP was important in the US battle against Iraq's Saddam regime. For example, Peshmerga liberated Mosul and was the leading forces who assisted US armies in finding Saddam Hussein in Tikrit. In the new Iraqi constitution, which was formed in 2006, Peshmerga was announced to be the official army of Iraqi occupied Kurdistan. Further on, KDP leader Masoud Barzani was elected as KRG president, while PUK leader Jalal Talabani was elected Iraq's new president. The new constitution also says by Iraqi law that the Iraqi army are forbidden to enter Kurdish lands. In 2014, however, a new challenge would show up for the Peshmerga, as Islamic terror groups, not at least the Islamic State, made huge territory success in northern Iraq. The Peshmerga put many martyrs in their battle against the Islamic State and would, in cooperation with American forces and other Kurdish armies, not at least the YPG, be able to defeat the Islamic State. The Peshmerga are today considered to be the largest force of the Kurdish cause, around 200,000 fighters. However, their split among two parties, KDP and PUK, are still ongoing and are considered to be their Achilles heel. This proved to be the case in 2017 during the referendum conflict with the Iraqi regime. The Kurds had, despite Iraqi warnings, been holding a referendum of independence in Iraqi-occupied Kurdistan, and when Iraqi army showed up at the border of KRG, the war was around the corner. However, while a part of the Peshmerga was ordered to stay and protect Kurdish borders, another part was ordered to retreat, and this both dropped the size of the Kurdish defensive forces simultaneously as the morale within the Peshmerga dropped drastically. The Peshmerga has a brave reputation among them and are without doubt potentially a key factor for Kurdish independence. But their loyalty to parties are their greatest weakness and changing the loyalty within the Peshmerga to the Kurdish nation as a whole is an important change that has to be done as soon as possible. Did you like this video? In that case hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button in order to stay updated to new videos on this channel.